Hey YouTube, how's it going? For those of you that are just now stumbling across my channel, my name is Tommy Martin and I'm a third year medical student. So before I get to this video, I want you guys to know that you guys are greatly, greatly loved and that you are beautifully and wonderfully created and that you are capable of more than you could ever imagine. Alright, so now let's get to the video where I'm going to tell you guys how I'm studying for the OBGYN shelf exam. Okay, so pretty much just like every other shelf exam, there are a few basic resources that I am using that I think would help you guys tremendously. So just as if you guys have watched all my other videos about how I'm studying for the shelf exam, you already know the number one resource is UWorld. So the weird thing about OBGYN is all throughout medical school, you really do not learn much about it. So day one of my rotation, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know what, um, what a station was. I didn't know when or how much the cervix should be dilated. I didn't know what the effacement was. I didn't really know much about OBGYN at all. And you guys probably felt the same way. So day one, I was clueless. But please, I beg of you, do not let that stop you from starting on UWorld early. Because just as with all the other rotations of her step 2 CK and just as step 1 was, UWorld is king when it comes to studying for any exam. And why is because you need to do as many questions as possible. And these are kind of the high yield topics that our exams are going to be hitting on. So advice number one would be make sure to utilize UWorld. And how I'm going about doing that is I'll do about 10 questions. I'm doing it on tutor mode and I am doing it with OBGYN only. Okay, and so I'm going through all of the OBGYN questions and I do, I do it in blocks of 10 questions. And as I'm going through the questions, I take detailed notes on all the questions I miss or anything within that question that I didn't completely understand. And then I review those 10 questions um, all the missed answers, anything I didn't understand, I review those after I do all those 10 questions. Okay, and then I'll do another block of 10 questions, and then I'll review those, and then at the end of the day, I'll review everything or all those questions I did that day. Okay, so in short, make sure you start UWorld early, make sure you use it as a learning tool and not an assessment tool, and make sure you continuously go over that. I still use my five pass system even when I'm doing questions. I make sure to see all that material five times within a given week. And if you happen to miss my five pass system, I'll make sure to include the video to it right here. So just click here and check it out and I can promise you that's gonna help it out. I can promise you that's gonna help you out. Okay, so then the next thing I'm using is online med ed. This is a resource that I've been using since the beginning of my shelf exams. I've continu continued to do well on my shelf exams, so I'm gonna continue to use it. Okay, and so with this, what I'm doing, again, is my five pass system. I honestly do not watch the videos as I should, but I read through all the notes. If I didn't understand the notes too well, then I'll watch the videos to online med ed. And then after that, I will review the notes again. And then after about two days, I reviewed the notes for the fourth time. And then after about five or six days, I'll review the notes again. So I use my five pass system in online med ed as well. And then if there's something that you really aren't getting the hang of or things that you just cannot remember, that's where things such as drawing pictures, using Picmonic, using any of those memory resources that help you memorize things that just aren't sticking really come in and help you big time. All right, so in short, what I am doing is I am using UWorld, Online Med Ed, and a couple other memory resources if needed. And if I can get to it, I have three weeks left. If I can get to it, I'm going to do all the questions on the ACOG website, which is kind of the main resource for OBGYN residents and attendings and what they always go to. And they have a ton of questions to utilize there. The more questions you could do, the more questions you could review, and the more answers that you can learn, the better you could do on these exams. All right, so that's how I'm studying for OBGYN. So before I end this video, I just wanted to give a couple shout outs to um, a company and someone that has been a huge inspiration to me and sent me some stuff in the mail. So first off, I want to just give a huge shout out to Jamie. She's the YouTube creator of The Strive to Fit. She is an absolute huge inspiration to probably every medical student out there. She has a huge YouTube channel and she's just so friendly and has helped me along my journey 
throughout creating a YouTube channel as well. So if you guys haven't, I'll include her link in my video here below. If you haven't checked out her channel, make sure to do so. She is just a huge inspiration. She's staying active in medical school. She's killing it throughout her rotations. And she's doing all of this while having a very successful YouTube channel as well. And just recently, maybe about five months ago, she started to have different kind of stationaries to help us to study. And so I want to show you guys those really quick. All right, so what I'm going to show you guys first are the ones that I'm using, or that I have been using. Okay, so I've been using her little notebooks. I've only opened one of them so far, but this is the one I've been using. And if you look here, you can see all of my UWorld notes. This is strictly UWorld notes, things that I've missed. Yes, I know there's a lot of them, but it's a learning tool, not an assessment tool. That's all my notes from UWorld. So this is my OBGYN book, and one the, the Bananas will be my pediatrics book as I take notes throughout UWorld. And my favorite, my absolute favorite stationery that she had sent me were these pins. These pins are absolutely incredible. So this one is red, um, this one is red, blue, and black. This one is light blue, pink, and yellow. And this one is green, purple, and orange. So you get three different color, colors with each of the pins, which I've been using the black, blue, and red one because with all my notes, I do different colors to kind of help me remember things as well. So these have been huge. So Jamie, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've absolutely loved the stationaries. And if you guys would like to check these out or like to order some, just check out her website. I'll include the link in the description as well. And the last thing that she sent me was the to-do list right here. It kind of is um, sets up on your desk like this. So then you could just flip through and make a to-do list every day just to make sure you're staying on top of everything you need to get done. So yeah, make sure you check out her website. Make sure you check out her website, check out her YouTube channel, and just give her some support because she's making so many videos for so many of you and just helping so many people. So make sure you give the love back to her as well. All right, and the last thing that I wanna um, kind of show you guys is some stuff that Medical Basics had sent me. Medical Basics is a company that is making um, different things that help medical students, such as like a history and physical notebook. They're making um, a small wallet for you know that's very sleek to fit in your white coat, different things like that, um, and some little cards with a lot of information. So let me show you guys those real quick. All right, so let me show you those really quick. So honestly, the thing that I probably would have used most that they've sent me is this H&P uh, notebook. And when I would have used this would have been during medicine. So what it is here is they give you a whole layout of how you need to do a history and physical, but then it goes even further than that. It gives you the following days up to like, I think five days. So this is something that'd be very valuable if you're about to start your internal medicine rotation or even your um, medicine fourth year electives or something like that. So this is something I definitely would have used in medicine. In the other rotations, it would definitely be helpful as well, but I think medicine is where it would really um, show how valuable it is. And then they also just give you kind of like a, a cheat sheet that would fit right in your white coat with all the high yield stuff like EKGs, um, electrolytes, and the normals of electrolytes, white blood cells, pretty much all the uh, common things that we may need to know all the time but just kind of slip our brain so that would be something nice to have as well. The last couple things I want to show you guys are the wallet that they had sent me. So. Here is the wallet. As you can tell, it is super sleek, very uh, small. It would fit just about anywhere in your white coat, in your pants pocket, and it also has this magnetic clip. So, you know, for your debit cards, for a little bit of cash, this would be very nice to have. And then all those annoying things that we hate to memorize, they have little cards for them, which are super nice. So I'll just read off a couple of them. So developmental milestones, something that no one likes to memorize. Uh, they have an EKG access, perfect. They have the vital signs, uh, the normals for they have the normals for vital signs. They have the search criteria, um, a normal physical exam. So yeah, they have about probably ten cards here that they had sent me um, that are front and back with a lot of information that'd be helpful just to have in your pocket to pull out whenever you might need it. So you can check out all of this stuff on the websites that I'm going to include in the description. Honestly, I think for them, the thing that I like most is probably that nice little wallet. I haven't used it yet, but that is super nice. But in terms of medical school, I really think that the history and physical notebook would have been clutch in the internal medicine rotation. So make sure you just check those out. And if you guys like them, give uh, Medical Basics a shout out. Give the Strive to Fit uh, Mrs. Jamie a shout out and just let them know that I 
um, that you guys saw their stuff from my video. Now, please know I do not get any kind of commission. I do not get anything from having you guys check these out. I just wanted to support fellow YouTubers or fellow companies that are trying to help medical students like like me and like you guys. So let's just share the love with everyone we come in contact with. And if there's a way that we could help someone along the way, let's just do it. It takes a couple minutes out of our day to give someone a hand or to help someone, especially someone that's striving towards the same goal as you guys are, or that as we are. All right, I think I've talked enough. So if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff that I just talked about, any of the items I just showed you guys, or about how to study in any of the shelf exams or the OBGYN shelf exam, please comment below. And if there's any videos you guys want to do, also comment below. And if you're new to my channel, so nice having you. I'm so thankful that you stuck around to watch this video. And if you did enjoy it, please like it and subscribe. All right, guys, time to get out of here. And please continue to chase your dreams with endless love and relentless passion. And know that you are greatly, greatly loved and beautifully and wonderfully created and capable of more than you could ever imagine. I love you guys. Have an incredible day.